everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcome to episode 18 of Let's Play Diddy Kong Racing. Sorry for that abrupt ending to the very last video. Uh, I just, I didn't expect it to throw us into the race right away. So, I kind of had to end it there because I did, I wanted to save it for this video. And yeah, that's that. So, last time we finished up, we got all 47 balloons. And I said I wanted to do the trophy race, but... I think I'm actually gonna save that for a bonus video because there's really you don't get anything for doing this trophy race. There's kind of no point except for completion. So I'm just gonna avoid it, and we are going to actually move on to what was kind of cliff hung at the very end of the last video, and that's we went through this door, which is the TT door, which you need all the which you need the complete TT amulet to enter. So that's why you need to do the mini games. And then we had this horrendous sight before us. It's a whiz pig door. Like, <laughs> didn't we just do away with you like two videos ago, three videos ago, whatever? <laughs> but no, this is where he came. He came up to here so that we can have one final showdown on his turf, on his grounds. So, <laughs> even though it pains me to do this, I have to race him again. Here we go. Let's race whiz pig 2.0. Busted through the wall on his rocket. <laughs> I love how he shakes as he says that. Like he's trying like he's trying to imitate a worm or something. Alright, so this is the second Wispy race and the final race of the game, the final boss race, the final everything of the game. This is it, this is the showdown. We are ending this LP here, folks. Oh my god. Except for the bonus ep episodes, obviously. Now, you would think that this race would be a lot harder than the first Wiz Pig race. But actually, I think it's a lot easier. And there's a few reasons for that. Number one is that Wiz Pig isn't nearly as fast for whatever reason, even though he's riding a rocket. He's, he seems to be just as fast as you this time around, instead of, like, a lot faster than you. So, you don't have to worry about that. Um... It should be a testament to just how easy this is, is the fact that I haven't actually come up with any kind of strategy for this one like I did with the other one, the Argon Matrix method, where he like kicks you and everything. I haven't come up with a strategy for this at all because it doesn't really need one. You just have to kind of use the balloons to your advantage. Yeah, that's another thing that makes this a lot easier is that there's balloons and everything. There's no zippers this time, but I don't think you really need it. If you have the balloons. Oh yeah. I'm not saying that this race is overly easy either, it's not. <laughs> Flying over Wispig's nose here. You can actually fly under his chin too, there's a red balloon down there, but personally I prefer the blue balloon. <laughs> I love how he hits the electricity there. Oh, he gets detrimented by his own trap. But that, I guess it's not really detrimental like I said before. The electricity just kind of spins you around in a circle. Now you want this barrier for this room, obviously, because it's like, you see how many guns there are in there? Just guns ablazing. Now, like, see, I'm not having really any trouble with this. And actually, the, sa the, like, the same thing can happen from the first Wiz Pig race. He can come up from behind you and hit you and nudge you forward. But since he's on a rocket this time, and his, his polygons are a lot more astray, I don't know. It's, it's harder to get, a, like, an actual nudge forward from this guy. Normally, he just, like, throws you off to the side, so it's actually more detrimental to you than it is helpful. Plus, you don't really need it, either. So, I don't know. This race just really isn't as hard. I got this after, like, as a kid, I spent years on the first Wiz Pig race, and probably, like, a day on this, on this race. So, it's still relatively hard. It's just not as hard. Alright, it looks like I'm going to lose here, but that's okay, because I want to show you the losing cutscene anyways. Besides, it wouldn't be a whiz pick race if you didn't lose at least once now, would it? Oh, man. Sitting on his throne all big and bad. His electric throne. Uh, what is that powered by? Bacon grease? Because whiz pig, you are one greasy pig. Anyways. Oh, yeah, so that's the losing cutscenes. Actually, a lot better than the other losing cutscene, in my opinion. Just because there's that whole epicness of the throne. 
and he's in his world. And look at that atomic sky. Wow. <laughs> That's scary. Like, there's, like, neon clouds. That's really kind of cool. And I love this whole area, too. Like, this sea. This sea of purple. Let's see a purple plasma. It's almost kind of like Majora's Mask in the Southern Swamp. It's all purpley. Alright. Yeah, I guess that's what the electricity does. It kind of knocks you down out of the sky, so... It doesn't seem to do that to Whizpig, but I guess that makes sense, because... It's his trap. It's his palace, or whatever it is. So don't expect, like, another 34-minute long video like I had with the last one, the first Whizpig race. Because this is not nearly as hard. Like I said, the guns can be kind of annoying. There's this this gun up here, not this one, but this one, right where it's like hitting right where the that balloon is. That's probably like the most annoying part of this whole race, is because whenever you get that balloon, you're almost certain to get knocked down by that gun. I guess another key point that I can kind of mention that's like kind of a strategy is you see that blue balloon off to the right? Don't go for that because if you, if you do, you're going to put yourself in a really bad spot where you have to kind of maneuver around a lot of walls and annoying things. Man. The first time I saw that there were balloons in this course and that there were red balloons on top of that, I was just so... I was over the moon because I'm like, yes, after all these years of putting me through such torture and to torment and aggravation that a situation that I'm probably going to have to explain to a psychiatrist someday in thorough detail. Oh, finally, I get to rocket Whizpig right in the ass. And then I did, and it was so funny because he like goes, he like hops up when he gets hit. He's like all surprised by it. He's like, oh, it's like, what the hell was that? What was that, a mosquito bite? Yeah, I don't know why Whizpig is so much slower on a rocket. It looks like he has like a constant boost too, a constant blue boost. So he should be totally destroying me right now, but he's not. He's actually very slow. Maybe you should run this course, Whizpig. I'd love to see that. <laughs> see him run and glide his way through this course. That might mean it's a lot harder, actually. And that's another thing, too, is that they give you a plane for this race, which is a lot better than that stupid go-kart that we had in the first race. <laughs> I can imagine them being that mean, though, is making you, like, go through a freaking Go through this course in a freaking cart or a hovercraft or something. Or maybe both. Ooh, that would be an interesting concept. Because there's that whole area with, like, the purple... The purple plasma sea. <laughs> so you can't really drive with a cart over that, so you'd have to switch to a hovercraft, or, f or a plane, and fly over it, or something. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna lose here, too. Well, damn. Or oh, maybe not, maybe not. See, it's so easy to come back from, like, being so far back in this race. Especially when you have those balloons to hit him with. Alright, uh, it looks like... No, I'm not gonna get it. Oh, sad me. <laughs> I love how you can see the bump in the wall even before he, like, comes through the wall. Before he busts through it. It's like he set it up just so that he could bust through the wall and be all theatrical. He probably did, too. Knowing that crafty whiz pig. That crafty? Is that what I said? I meant crappy. <laughs> well, that's even more satisfying, hitting him with just a non-homing in rocket. Sometimes you get a really good first lap, too, where, like, nothing, you don't hit anything, you don't, like, you get all the right balloons and stuff, hitting him with rockets and just getting the boost yourself. And if you do that on your very first lap, it's almost impossible to lose at past that, past that point unless you, like, try to lose. And you get that yellow balloon, too. Whoever thought that a yellow balloon would actually come in, like, major handy? But it does in that one room. Otherwise, you're almost guaranteed to get hit by a by a gun, by a laser, by a laser beam. That those lasers are actually a lot easier to avoid than they look like, but they're still not incredibly easy to avoid. A lot of the time, you can actually get through that room without getting hit, even if you don't have the barrier. I just like to have the barrier there for kind of 
you know, just extra insurance. And the textures in this tunnel, this like this rock texture in here, even though it's purple, it's probably the most realistic rock texture that you're gonna find in any in any N64 game, anyways. It looks pretty real. Oh la di da. La di da. Wow. We just thought I'd been saying that in the epic final showdown against Wispig. This is really epic though, at least. They made it extremely epic. Even with the music. <laughs> yeah, they had to bring back that music from the first race. They couldn't make a whole new track. What are you, crazy? What are you, some kind of idiot? Yeah, yeah did you think that the, that the final race of Diddy Kong Racing was going to be totally epic? Well, it is. It's just not that hard. <laughs> That's the thing. So it looks like I'm going to win this time. I'm going to win. I'm going to do it. I'm not afraid anymore. And win. Yeah. Now let's watch what happens to Wizpig now. <laughs> As a temper tantrum kind of. Well, not really. He's just kind of disappointed. Shaking his head like Donkey Kong. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh my god. That's <laughs> just perfect. Perfect end to a perfect villain. I love the subtle subtlety of that tune in there, the Diddy Kong Racing tune. It's really nice. And back on Timber Island. <gasps> oh yeah. Look at this, they're doing the conga, and Tip Top's in the lead! And the Whiz Pig head was replaced by a Golden Taj head. And this is the true end, my friends. This is the grand finale we've all been waiting for. The final vacation. <laughs> that ending Whiz Pig cutscene is so funny. Oh, look, it's, it's Horny and his kids. Or Tricky, whatever. <laughs> Look at it, Pipsy's riding on the little pink one. That's cute. Yeah. I love that Wiz Pig cutscene so much at the end, though. It's just the music is perfect. It's totally dramatic, and <laughs> it's so they try to make it all epic, but like, well, I think they try to make it epic in the funniest way possible. There's Drumstick, our new character, newly unlocked. And there's TT in the Walrus. Hey, Snowpoke. <laughs> oh yeah, Conquer just busts through. That's the. That's one of the most awesome shots of the game, is Conker busting through the middle of them there. And they're smoky. Sweet. <laughs> With Timber riding on his back, it looks like that's awesome. The only one missing here is Bubbly. And that's it all, folks. That's all. Or is it? <laughs> yup. Wispig's still alive, guys. <laughs> Can't imagine how after crashing into what looked like fucking Fortuna or something. Jeez. So that is it, folks. That's the actual end to D Diddy Kong Racing. So, oh my god, I don't even know what to say now. Just, I can't possibly top that crazy reaction at the end of the first Wiz Pig race, but here we go. We got the credits again. Oh man, this was such a fun LP to do, I gotta tell you. Just reliving my childhood along with all of you guys. You guys all had your own memories of as a kid and playing this. So it was a great bit of nostalgia, nostalgia for the community, I think. So great. It's such an awesome game. If you've never played it before, try and scavenge a copy, emulate it, get a DS version, do whatever you gotta do to play this game. It's definitely worth a go.
so that's it. Um, I guess I can kind of talk about the ending there, because there is no more to the rest of the game that, even though, like, Whizpig, you could see him flying away in his spaceship there, and he's still alive and laughing it up. There is actually no more to this game. There's no sixth world, unfortunately. They were planning on making, like, that's what I was kind of hinting at, is that they were planning on making a sequel to this game called Donkey Kong Racing, I think. But since, but Rare left Nintendo and it never happened, so. That's the cliffhanger. The cliffhanger. The cliffhanger that will re forever remain a cliffhanger. Yeah, and now we got Future Funland in the credits here, too, just to complete the picture. Special thanks to Mr. Arakawa. Cool. <laughs> or M. Arakawa, I guess, not Mr. Jeez. C. Stamper. <laughs> C. The Stamper. T. Stamper. Oh, is this a twin bro effort? Make this game to be continued. Or not. <laughs> Display credits. Who did this? That's the code you put in if you want to see the credits again. So that's cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, and these are all the times. Like, these are, all, I guess, the expert staff times that they got on all the courses. In case you want to take a crack at them. Or maybe they're all the times that I got. I don't even know. <laughs> Not entirely sure of that. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful! So, that's the end of this LP. As, as for what's up next, I do know what's up next. As many of you know, I've hinted at it. Some of you even already know what it is. I'm probably not going to start that until, like, September at some point. Just because, like, I don't know. There's not, I'm not gonna, I don't have much time left in August to start. If I started before PAX Prime here, I don't even know if this video is going to go up before PAX Prime, before I leave for PAX Prime. Uh, and I wouldn't start an LP, like, right after, or, like, right before PAX Prime, and then just leave, like, for a week hiatus, and then continue with it part two afterwards that just that wouldn't make any sense to me so I'll probably just wait until September and right back up to the title screen just like any good game so that's all folks um as for bonus episodes we got I want to show that trophy race the future funland trophy race I want to show um the whiz the first whiz pig race again even though I really don't want to head back there I'll show it I'll do it with the green boosts it won't be as painful this time it'll take one try I can guarantee that uh, I want to show off the time trials and how to unlock the last character that's unlockable in this game. I don't want to show all the time trials because that'll take way too many videos. But I want to show like some of the harder time trials. So if you guys can think of the harder ones, then that you that you would want to see, then leave them in the comments below or whatever. And I think that's gonna be it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this let's play as much as I enjoyed do doing it. Oh my god. I might come back to this someday. You never know, do Adventure 2. See what that's all about, because I've never actually completed Adventure 2 myself. Because I love this game so much. This is just like... Uh, the game of my life, it really is. This is what made my childhood what it is. Practically what made me what I am today. So, that's it, guys. Until we meet again, thanks everyone for watching. This has been Ario Matrix with Diddy Kong Racing. Thank you. Thank you oh so much for joining me in this awesome adventure. And I'll see you on the flip side. And good night.